Hello, you are watching the news at 10 on NDTV Hindu. I am Ram Nathan and these are our top stories. The DMK tells party men not to associate themselves with the controversial MK Ayagiri Forum. Police search trains between Kerala and Tamil Nadu after an anonymous threat. The Chennai Open Tennis 2010 begins tomorrow. The security has been tightened on trains running between Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Police in Kerala have received an anonymous threat that bombs would be detonated on the trains. The caller identified himself as Mohammed Yunus. Trains were stopped at many stations on routes between the two states and searched by police. The alert will be in place on Monday as well. M.K. Aragiri has been a controversial name in Tamil Nadu politics, but this time it's not the politician himself, but a forum in his name which is making news. The ruling DMK in the state has distanced itself from the All India M.K. Aragiri forum, floated by a hardcore Aragiri loyalist and has even warned party workers of disciplinary action. Perhaps this dream about the DMK strongman, M.K. Aragiri, seems to have inspired 65-year-old Marud Dharmalingam, a former DMK MLA from Rishivandiyam constituency, to float this organization. The forum's main aim is to propagate the political interests of Chief Minister Karnanidhi's Madurai-based son, M.K. Aragiri, at the national level. But the target really is... <laughs> A day after it was floated, the DMK High Command was quick to take notice and warned party workers to distance themselves from the forum itself. In a late-night statement, the party High Command said, This is totally a violation of party rules and disciplinary action will be taken against those who associate with the forum. The forum has been started with the aim of making gains. But sycophancy is nothing new in the world of Tamil Nadu politics, and the state has often witnessed several forums floated by loyalists. MGR's loyalist Musiriputan floated the MGR Mandram during his regime. A forum in the name of Jailalitha is still active in this state. Similar forums have been floated by loyalists of Congress leader G.K. Mupanar and Dayanidhi Maran in Tamil Nadu. This latest forum, the All India MK Aragri Forum, has evoked mixed reactions from DMK party workers. While many say it will lead to confusion, Aragri's loyalists believe it will only strengthen the party. Allegri's loyalists claim that this forum will act as a social service wing of the ruling DMK. But whatever it may be or may not be, this is yet another classic example of political psychophancy prevalent in the state. In any case, the forum has been successful in appointing office bearers in several states and they say that they have more than one lakh members across this country. In Chennai with camera person Devraj and reporter Shabir Ahmed, Jennifer Arul, NDTV Hindu. Now, Tamil Nadu's top election officer Naresh Gupta has said every constituency in the state will have a center for voters' identity cards. These centers will be fully operational in three months. Gupta said updating the electoral list will be a continuous process. He added that field verification of electoral lists has already begun. Now, tons of garbage left behind by New Year revelers has forced a huge cleanup operation on the Marina Beach. Barely a week ago, a new beachfront was unveiled and politicians said the beach was among the best in the world. After the massive celebrations to welcome in the New Year, this is the scene on the Marina Beach. Just a week ago, the famous landmark of Chennai City got a facelift. But the large turnout of revelers generated tons of garbage sparking an extensive cleanup operation by the Chennai Corporation. Manual labor and sand cleaning machines were brought in to remove the litter. New Year, every day we clear out welcome from the Marina and after the New Year we have 
to clear extra 10 tons from the marina. So we were clearing 12 tons and on the first we cleared 22 tons. And then further down we were clearing uh, 12 tons per day. Uh, we were uh, removing garbage, uh, 100 shippers, uh, generally we put only 25 shippers per tons for removing garbage. But the number was very heavy, so we had to put uh, 100 people for the number. On the normal day, per day around 12 tons of garbage is new. Uh, this weekend, we removed 22 tons. Uh, I don't know, but uh, immediately I don't have a figure, but we are slightly more than that. It's an absolute lack of civic sense and irresponsible public behavior, or the lack of strict laws to punish violators. But the public seem to think it's a bit of both. It is the responsibility of uh, public only, because government is doing little bit, it is not possible for them to do everything. We have to come forward and uh, clean it. Government also sh should, it looks very beautiful here. And actually this is second longest beach in this world. We will attract more and more and more people. Beautification is uh, keeping the place clean and for a lot of people who are from Chennai and who, um, and, and who live outside the country, this Marina Beach is like their pride, you know, they, I mean like, like I talk about this beach so much to my friends, but I really don't think like, like I can bring my uh, friends from there and uh, show them this place today. By the looks of it, it does appear that Chennai city is still a very far cry from the green and clean city that it hopes to be one day. In Chennai with camera person Balu and Nithula, Jennifer Arul, NDTV Hindu. When we come back, the Music Academy's Dance Festival opens with a splendid performance. Stay with us.